Okay hey guys we're back in the shade. This is just uh, the maddies that we've dug them yesterday. Um as you can see coming up lovely in red on the camera. They are uh, they've been a day purging, so you can see where the the mud has been expelled out of them. These are also another batch of them that have expelled their mud. Uh, I've just cleaned out one tray of them, so I'll show you those now. That's the mud out of the tray. We'll put a bit of water in them now in a minute again, just to keep them going. So, we'll do this one as well. And we'll get a, a bit of a video at the end for all of them. Like I said, all looking well there. You can see the water is starting to discolor. But all this mud is all together. And it's important that you don't break up this mud when it's inside in the worms. Just, uh, I'll show you in a minute what I mean. But as you can see, it's all very hard and all very together. This is water here, as you can see as well. And there's a very clearly, the mud is all stuck together. And the water isn't kind of um, infused with the mud. But I'll show you more what I mean once I've got the, the, the maddies out of here. No, there's about 220 in that. That's what I usually put about 200 into a tray while I'm holding them. Now you can see where the mud is starting to filter out into the... Um, water because i've touched it so i'll just show you now if you go at the mud too much and you mess around with it you'll see what it does to the water like you get lots of these little tails where they've been fighting or maybe they weren't whole going in in the first place so so there's a little head there that's left over but anything that turns that color i get it out of there um, so, like I said, if you're messing with the water this and the mud, this is what happens. And uh, if you ever see the water going this kind of a uh, consistency, got to get your maddies out of it straight away. And what I do is I filter, I put them into fresh water, clean them off, back out again into fresher stuff, um, fresh clean water until it stops. You don't see any of this stuff because that will kill your maddies. It draws them out, they go really, really long and then they die on you. So, got to watch out for that. Like I said, if you ever see the water going that colour, I can't stress it highly enough, get the maddies out of it immediately. Now we've moved off from the maddies, you can see they're happy out in their fresh water, and we're going on to some lugs that I dug. Um, I was out getting some whites for this competition that's coming up, these little wrigglers, and uh, I came across some decent sized lugs as well, which was a bit of a surprise, so I kept them. But I'm not going to be able to keep them for the length of time that I need to for the competition. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I don't really use these too much, but I'm going to gut them and um, freeze them and see how they go. Now a lot of guys have said very good for dabs and whiting, which is what we're targeting in the competitions more than likely. So I'll just show you there, it's kind of hard to do with one hand. So what I've been doing, obviously it'd be, it would help obviously if I put it into the camera light, is uh, just nipping the head off of them and squeezing out the guts. Now, as I said, very hard to do with one hand. But, you see, with the guts out, they've become nice and leathery. So, throw them in there. Next one up. Take off the head again. And obviously, with two hands, this is much, much easier to do. Squeeze out the guts. As you can see. Nice and rubbery. Gonna put them onto some tissue paper afterwards, just so they dry out another bit, and then freeze them when I'm all done. So, looking forward to trying these. First time really doing it. I've done them a few times, but I've never had much uh, faith in them, so I tend not to use stuff I don't have much faith in, especially when you've got fresh stuff as well. So I'm gonna give them a go, and uh, you never know, they could be a, a nice little uh, addition to the bait arsenal. Also, when I do when I fish competitions, I tend to have a couple of lug left over, and if I can't get out, this could be a way to reuse them without having to go and release them again, which is always a pain. <laughs> 